What does the Bible say about systemic racism? Well, nothing. The term did not exist until 1967. So what is it? A leading social justice textbook says systemic racism is the network of institutional structures, policies, and practices that create advantages and benefits for whites and the oppression of other groups, even by way of cultural norms. Under this definition, anything can be perceived as racist, like syrup bottles, butter tubs, master bedrooms, and garage ropes. There's another term for this. It's called paranoia. First Timothy 6.4 calls it craving controversy. That's what happens when you give up the gospel for worldly solutions, except that the debate over systemic racism doesn't even offer any solutions. Just quarreling, dissension, slander, evil suspicions, and constant friction. Dr. Thomas Sowell has said that the term systemic racism really has no meaning, and even the people who use it don't have any clear idea of what they're saying. Our problem does not have to do with skin, it has to do with sin. And it's not part of some system out there that's somebody else's fault, it's inside of you and it's your fault. Jesus said, out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false witness, slander. But if we ask forgiveness for our sins, God is faithful to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The problem is sin, and the solution is Jesus when we understand the text.